Hello, everyone, and welcome to Real Quick, episode 147. No Seth this week, but we didn't have George on the episode this week, but he's here for the Real Quick and the Real Patreon review that will be coming out on Friday this week, which will be of Alfred Hitchcock Psycho. So subscribe to Patreon if you haven't already. Check out all the perks we have in the description down below. But today, in our Real Quick Game of the Week, we have a little Trivia 10-esque matchup between Cam and George. In the, in the episodes that George has been missing, Cam and Seth have been going head-to-head a bit in some trivia. Or no, actually, no. In the episodes Cam was missing, George and Seth have been going head-to-head. But now we're going to see Cam versus George in a little spin on like the Trivia 10-esque type questions. But this should be fun. I had a lot of fun prepping these questions. So let's go ahead and get into this thing. So we have three sections of this trivia today. We have movie connections, which is the movie names blending together type thing. That's very fun. We have a ride the bus where you two are going to be going head to head, same exact movies, and see who can stay on the bus longer. And then we have guests the cast. We have two guests the cast at the end. One will go first, the other one, the other person will go first. But let's go ahead and dive in. Section one, movie connections. Let's see how you can do. So based on the hint I'm going to be given, there's going to be two movie names that have to be strung together. So we're going for film names through the common word length between the two. And the first one we're going to be doing a boy who is afraid of having the lights off has no need to fear as he has a new girlfriend, Carly, pushing aside his ex, Michaela Baines. I, I know. The, so I know what the second one is. Yeah, I know what the second one is, too. <laughs> uh, afraid of the dark of the moon? <laughs> no. Incorrect. George, anything? The first one is throwing me off. The, o- the only one that comes to mind for the first one is, is uh, Orion in the Dark, and I am confident. Oh, Orion, Dark of the Moon. <laughs> yes, it's so so Orion in the Dark of the Moon. I was like, what is he about to say for That's why stupid. he's so confident that it's not going to be Orion That's in the Dark of the Moon? Stupid shit, man. Orion in the Dark That's of the Moon is correct. One. Ten points to George. We have five total movie connections in section one. The That's next cool. one we got. Sentinel Prime is resurrected through three defining chapters of a man's life. Well, this is Dark of the Moon again, but <laughs> Dark of the uh, Oh, Dark of the Moonlight. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, it is, it is Dark of the oh, Moonlight. Oh, no way. Yeah. Transformers yeah, Dark okay, of the yeah, Moonlight. So we got two Dark of the Moon. I will say there's wow. no more Dark of the Moons on this, but it was okay, just too good. easy dark and moon just happened to be in so many film titles you know what i was thinking i was thinking you... um oh no i was thinking revenge of the fallen and then revenge of the sith somehow were connected uh, yeah that's what i no. was thinking sentinel prime came back in dark at the moon um yeah. cam are you gonna say yeah, something silly goose no. no can you guys hear me or every word you guys say is absolutely nonsense coming in my mic i'm oh. on hotel wi-fi as i said but it's fine if you guys can hear me that's fine hear you. you sound like perfect you haven't yeah, even you come great. close cutting out once all righty so. keep it but at least i, I have... can understand you guys enough yeah and i was gonna say at least i have a powerpoint so for people who are listening you could watch for the video aid on the youtube of, of course but it helps cam out as well so going on to number three three heroes from different eras finally collide to stop burglars from robbing their home during christmas well, we, we know the second one. No Way Home Alone. There we go, George. Spider-Man No Way Home Alone. Yeah. 10 <clears throat> points to George. Back and forth really we good. go. 20 to 10, George with the lead. We have two movie connections left. Next up we have, will they or won't they in this spicy rom-com that culminates in a brutal rescue mission for a missing teenage girl? I think this one's a little tougher. I don't even know what the rom com is. I know. I think I know what the second one is. Hmm. I think, but give me a. Will second. they or won't they? In this spicy rom com that culminates in a brutal rescue mission for a missing teenage girl. Okay, I have two guesses for what the second movie is, but the have... will they or won't they in this spicy rom com? Can I get like a? Is it wrong to ask for a year of the spicy rom-com? Well, since neither of you have gotten it, it is from 2023. Okay. All right, I think that makes that one easy. <laughs> no hard feelings searching. No hard feelings <laughs> taken. No hard feelings taken. That's my no, not, not that. No hard feelings is not the movie. 
Yeah, that I figured. Sorry. I'm, uh, just, it's the second one that's killing me. I know the first one. Really? Well, well neither of you are getting it, so I'll give well, another well, hint. Well, no, no, well. I'm, I'm just going to slowly reveal hints uh, that are going to get more large of hints as this goes on. But this is... Uh, well, let me let me get the year for what the second one is because I don't want to give out a lead performance quite yet. So 2017 is when the second film came out. And it is a crime drama thriller. I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. Um, anyone but you were never really here. There it is. Uh, anyone but wow. you were never really here. Correct. Wow. George. Pulling away with it a bit. Cam complains. Cam's flu game can be hotel Wi-Fi game. But Dude, I didn't know if it was actually anyone but you because I couldn't think of a movie with that started with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know, I was on Taken or Searching. I, I don't know why I couldn't stop really thinking of Rush Hour. Yeah. Well, thirty points so far, George. Ten to Cam. We are going to our final connection of this episode. An unplanned pregnancy leads to a game of cat and mouse across the American Southwest. I think this one's a little tougher too. I don't know either of them. I'm going to be honest. So An unplanned pregnancy leads to a game of cat and mouse across the American Southwest. Knocked up in the air. No, but oh, that's, that, that worked well. It worked well. Wow, I damn really damn it. Just clicked that. I really did too. Did I get yeah. either of them? No, you did not get either of them. Wow. Oh, wow. I really thought the first one was knocked up. That's probably the best guess I can give. That's not correct. <laughs> That's I I have I have nothing for the unplanned pregnancy. The only the only thing I'm thinking right now is immaculate, and I just don't think that's the movie. It is not that uh, immaculate. So can I get a year? Can I get years? Yeah, we'll get we'll get years for you guys. <laughs> so the first film is 2007. Shit. And the second film is also 2007. Shit. Whoa. So I think I know like what the second film is. Does it star? Yeah, it does. It does star an actor who won oh. Best Supporting Actor okay. for the movie. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yep, I think you guys are on the same page there. You know what the second one is. I can't connect it, though. I don't know what the first no one is. Idea what the unplanned pregnancy is. This is oh, Juno Comfort Tree for Old Men. Oh, fuck <laughs> you. Juno that Country for insane. Old Men. Yeah, a little trickier so, one. A little trickier that is one. Insane. George's creativity is working that. well on this Wednesday evening, Tuesday That's evening. So I would have <laughs> never gotten Juno. You know. That, that does insane. it for uh section one. We're now on to section two, ride the bus. So how this is going to work is you both are going to say higher or lower, and whoever's right, we're going to see who's going to go on for longer. But this I have eight total on this, and we're starting out with like bigger gaps. So they're, they're not all going to be point one, and it's slowly going to be – so like you know the early ones theoretically should be easy, and we're going to get tougher and tougher and see who can last the longest riding the bus. So you're going to okay. get five points for each. We're going to see who falls off first. But if someone falls off first, the other person is going to just keep able to keep running and rack up points as long as possible. So 40 total points is available here. The initial film we got is The Whale. Darren Aronofsky's The Whale with Brennan Fraser. 3.7 on Letterboxd. Don't worry, darling. Is that higher or lower? And you both can say the same thing, different things. doesn't matter. Yeah. I, do we just say it whenever? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go, go lower. I'm going to go with a lower. Both going lower. Correct. 3.0. So you both have five points. Going on to the next film. Leon the Professional, above or below a 3.0? For sure, above. Otherwise, I'll cry. go higher. <laughs> it is higher. <laughs> 10 points is now where you're both at for okay. right now. Next one. And the thing is, like, I was going to say maybe I should do 3, 2, 1, countdown, stay at the same time, but I honestly like the psychological factor, especially when we get closer. One of you might be like, oh, well, he thinks it's lower. I'm going to go with that, and it might trip you up. So we'll see. Next film, Bohemian Rhapsody, above or below a 4.0? I'm gonna go below. Cam, I'm gonna go higher. <laughs> wow, bold! It is lower. It is lower. So okay, Cam's I, off the I, bus. That's tough. Okay. Why do that? <laughs> he thought he thought it'd be higher. I guess George, you're at 15. We're gonna see how how much people like Bohemian Rhapsody, or at least the Academy did. 
People do really up. love being I messed up. I read the room wrong. I can't hear <laughs> anything. I read the room wrong. <laughs> the ho- we got a hotel Wi-Fi situation, but Cam or George, you're going to try and build your lead as much as possible. I, Tanya, above or below a 3.4. We're going to start getting closer here. Uh, above. Above is correct at a 3.8. We have four more movies left. See how many you can get. So I, Tanya, is at a 3.8. Fargo, above or below a 3.8. Oh. I don't know. I am inclined to say above because I, I feel like Fargo has such a cult following. I'm going to go with above. Above is correct. Wow. 4.2. Next, everything ever all at once. Is that above or below a 4.2? I feel like that has to be above, but that's such a small margin of error. I'm going to go above. I feel like it sneakily has like a 4.4. above is right. Still on the bus. It's a wonderful life above or below 4.3. That's got to be above. That's like the most universally loved movie. Are you going above? Yeah, yeah, I'm going above. It is above. Final one to see if you can ride this extra long bus ride all the way to the end. 2001 Space Odyssey above Uh, or below 4.4. You're an ass for putting that one. Damn, damn, damn. I'm going to go above as well. I'm going to go above. It's no. below with 35 points. That means the points right now is 75, George, 20, Cam. We have two guests of the cast left. Cam is going to have to pull something out of his hat, <laughs> do some magic for this comeback. This is Giants Patriots territory we're entering. So we're entering section three, guests of the cast. So there's going to be two of these, like I said. George, since you are in the lead i'm going to give you the option do you want to because we're going to do alternating do you want to go first on this one or the next one you don't get to see the cast is just gut feeling do you want to go first on this one or next one uh i'll go first on the next one okay i like it playing like college football overtime you want to see what the other opponent can do first so cam is your guess so george don't say anything for this this is only cam right now samuel l jackson <laughs> The, the most devious man on these guests to cast he's in everything he's in, he's leads in everything he's supporting and everything he's just he's just everywhere that's such a crazy um, first so, actor to pick so yeah i know you've been watching a ton of tarantino recently you've been watching a lot um so i'm i'm leaning that way i know you've done the hateful eight on uh on trivia 10 before I don't think it'd be Django or I don't think it'd be Django or anything like that or Pulp Fiction or anything of that nature. It's not going to be Star Wars. It's, I'm going to go with uh, the King. I'm going to go with Kingsman. The Kingsman, the Secret Service is incorrect. Next cast yeah, member. The, okay. Quentin Tarantino for George. So now Cam, don't say so, anything. Is it Pulp? No, no, no. Oh, can't say oh, anything. Wait, now it's George's turn. George. Yeah, that's how we're doing it. We're alternating. So George for 30 points now. So alternating back and forth. Yeah, sorry to make that clear. Okay, okay, okay. But Quentin Tarantino, Samuel L. Jackson, and starring in the film. It's not your it's not your fault. I cannot hear you. Like <laughs> at all. I, I also I'm didn't explain right now, that, but yeah. I, I can get the gist. Yeah. I can get the gist. It is George's turn. All right, well, now I'm thinking Pulp Fiction because Cam said it, and so now it's the only thing I'm thinking of. But I'm trying to think of what other Tarantino movies Tarantino has been in. If you get this here, it's lights out for Cam. If you don't that, get it here, there's life for Cam. Like, I am, I'm, I am, am, I, am I overthinking it right now? Is it Pulp Fiction and I'm just being dumb? I'm, all right, Pulp Fiction. It is not Pulp Fiction. Back to Cam. So, Cam, it's your turn now. George, don't say anything. Cam gets the opportunity to get 20 points here with Christoph Waltz. Fuck. I mean, I feel like I have to guess Inglorious Bastards, but I don't entirely remember when Quentin Tarantino's in Inglorious Bastards. Or Sam Jack. Um... I would be stupid not to, right? Like, I really, I really like, I, I can't. Both of your screens are frozen, so I can't tell if I'm even <laughs> recording right now. Either. You are, you're good. So we I'm got just going to keep talking myself through this. Is it a Glorious Bastards or what's the other movie? Uh, 
that he's a villain in. He's not Inspector. Is it Django? It's got to be Django, right? Django is not correct. Oh, it's Inglorious Bastards. Yes. Okay. The <laughs> fucking Sam Jackson was tripping me up, but then I remembered he did the narration in uh, in awful. English for Glorious Bastards. I just saw this movie like a week ago. Mm, yep, it's tough because Sam Jackson is only the narrator. Quentin Tarantino is only a Nazi that gets de scalped very very first one, which I don't even know if you really see his face when it happens. And then Christoph Waltz would narrow it down to either Django Unchained or Inglorious Bastards 50 50, and Diane Kruger. This is kind of like a perfect guess to cast to really make it wait until the last one, unless you can guess it good early. But 85 to George. Cam playing for it was, pride. It was so time. simple. I just, yeah. <laughs> you were, so I, simple, I just well, when you were talking through it, you were saying like in glorious bastards. And I was like, did you forget that he's also in Django and Shane? Cause you're like, Oh, it's, he, <laughs> it's clearly this one, but it wasn't glorious. I bastards. mean, like I genuinely talked myself out of it. Yeah. The gut feeling always gets people on the trivia. Tent, so we're going on the final one. Cam's playing for pride. So George, you're allowed to say nothing here. This is Cam's guest for the very first one. Can't win here, but you can narrow the gap. First cast member for Cameron. Matt Damon. Cam. Is this me or George? Yeah, I thought it's it was George. You. I thought you were deep in oh, thought. It's yeah, you. I thought he was in thought too. <laughs> uh, I thought we I went first on the last one, thought he was going first on this one. Oh wait, shit, you um, did go first on the last one. Never mind. Shit, George, Matt you're Damon, first. Uh... Never mind. Cam, not you. My mistake. Bad host. <laughs> Flu game. George, you are going first. Yeah, I forgot you deferred. George. All right. Um, well, now this makes my life. I was hoping Cam would rattle off. I, I, <laughs> oh, fuck. Because this could be anything. This could be literally anything. This could be we bought a zoo for all I know. This man. Is the big. next the next the next person is going to be uh, is going to be Ben Affleck. I'm so confident. <laughs> oh, there's no way this, this, this. I don't think this is. You know what I think this is? Because if I think if I get this wrong, the next person will really give it away. So I'm gonna guess Thor Ragnarok. Thor Ragnarok is incorrect. Incorrect. Cameron, it is now your turn. I your swear. turn, Cam. George, do not say anything. Melissa McCarthy and Matt Damon. It's Thor Love and Thunder. Wow, I, I didn't I totally did not remember that she was in that movie, but Thor Love what? and Thunder is right. Oh, I thought it was gonna be a tougher yeah, one because like uh, I didn't I did not what is she? She's like also the fake no, play she, person or yeah, she's fake Hella. She's play Hella. She's hell. Damn. Don't, Cam, don't question my MC new. Yeah, MC I was going to say, I'm never questioning That's all I've MC got. knowledge again. That's all I've I, got. I was hoping or thinking this would be a stumper. You'd be like, when the hell were Matt Damon and Melissa McCarthy in a movie? It was like Ocean's 13 or something. But no, it was. I don't was, have anything, but I've got I've got MC new knowledge. That's it. That's it. Well, George still wins 85 to 50, yeah. but Cam narrowed the gap a bit there, made it more respectable, didn't let George get in the triple digits. Um, I thought George was going to clip it when he said Thor, but nope. Thor, Love and Thunder is what we're going to go for. But. George gets the win. Good work, George. Yeah. Cam and Seth Sorry. have been battling. Or no, yeah, George has, has gone through the reps battling against Seth and, and trivia is on the Real Talk episodes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's the trivia 10. Will they or won't they, like anyone but you, be in the playoffs? We will have to wait and see. But George did very well. I mean, he was crushing those movie connections one. He was he was nabbing those. And then obviously, the, the ride the bus. Juno made one was crazy. The end. Juno ride country bus, for old men. Silly. Yeah, Juno <laughs> for old men was insane. Ride the bus was a little silly for Cam going both Bohemian Rhapsody as a, above like a 3.9 or whatever, but it's okay. It's okay. This this doesn't count. This is just a for fun real quick. This isn't the Trivia 10 official, so now you know. Pack it up. Go with your gut next time. But with that, we will see you tomorrow if you're a patron on our Psycho review, Alfred Hitchcock Psycho. And if you're not a patron, then, well, we will see you on Monday with the next episode of Real Talk. Peace. Peace.